Hey Cancers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, please subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell. We're doing it a little different this time with the setup as you can see because I have some new lovely cards and I want to show you guys them up close. So here's the new deck that I'll be working with today. Work Your Light Oracle cards. I just think they're just so lovely. Um, and for the main tarot read, I will be using the Legend Tarot. And a little bit different this time, guys. If you are drawn to any of the decks, because I felt like the setup, because you can see the rest of the decks, you may be drawn to one. So I will be turning one over at the end and getting the message out of that card, okay? So if you're drawn to one, stick around for that. Um, this is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody, unfortunately, but I do personal readings and you'll find the information to contact me in the description box, okay, guys? Um, along with information about all the different decks of cards I use. So, Cancers, what's going on with you guys here during November? Let's see. And we have the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you, okay? It's happening for you, for your best. So uh, everything happens for a reason, right? So you guys may feel like life is happening to you, okay? It's not. It's happening for you. All these things that you know, unfold in life, lead us to different situations, usually a better situation. Um, it may not feel like it at the time, but it often is a better situation. You may be feeling cracked wide open at this time or ready to allow love in because I'm just looking at this rose and it just looks so welcoming. So you guys may be ready to allow love in. Look, the waters look a bit calmer for you guys you're probably dealing with Scorpio season quite well now so your emotions may have calmed down somewhat as well um ready a deep dive into love into loving yourself here so it's, life is ever unfolding isn't it there's always something I just told um Leo's learn to dance in the rain guys you know it's not about waiting for the storm to pass Trust your path, okay, of course. Trust that, you know, this ever unfolding life. You know, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? And look at the path. Life's not about the destination. You don't want to quickly get to the end of the life. Enjoy all these different paths here. Look at this. All these different surfaces, different points of life here. Some may be rough and others may be smooth. You know, choose the path of least resistance if that's what you want. But enjoy the journey. Trust your path here, okay, guys? Trust they will all work out for the best for you. And we have no. Wait, postpone, pause, say no, guys. Okay? So that's for some of you there. Say no. Learn to say no. If people are trying to you know, put extra burdens on you, learn to say no, that's like the ten of wands, ooh, the magician, definitely something's unfolding, something's manifesting here for you, you're a magician right now, guys, so be open here to giving and receiving love, a lot of the time, we're open to giving love, especially cancers, you know, they're very giving and supporting and loving, just remember to receive. So, you know, what's happening right now might be teaching you to also receive love, okay? Trust your path, though, and learn at times we have to say no to people. Sometimes it is going to be a little bit dark. You know, sometimes we are going to face these storms. But trust it. Trust that it's for your best interest here. And maybe for some it's delayed. We are um, in the retrograde at the moment with Mercury. So it's something may just be postponed or on pause at the moment here. It might just not be the right time for you guys. Ooh, Seven of Cups. So you could be manifesting romantic options or job options here. 
maybe heavy dreaming as well here very vivid and elusive um not elusive sorry lucid dreams okay seven of cups manifesting options okay in regards to love here we don't just have one soulmate we have you know maybe a soulmate for a season or to teach us something here and not everything that glitters is gold so you know some of the options you may have to say no to knave of pentacles so that's the page of pentacles in the normal deck there so this looks like something new about to begin okay for some of you it may be that you know if you're trying to communicate with somebody it's very difficult or very slow or non-existent even somebody could have blocked you with the page of pentacles but it definitely seems like you know a new beginning could just be unfolding here Somebody may be asking, it could be if a child is asking for help here, money-wise, but they're like um, a grown child, you may have to learn to say no here. Because, you know, as a parent, you never stop being a parent. And is it's a page, it could be somebody younger. It could be a younger earth sign making you an offer here. that maybe you said no to or they said no to you if you're a cross watcher um it could be that you are reaching out to um a cancer and they have other options and they're saying no at this moment but um yeah you know there's lots of dis different possibilities in general reads take it how it resonates with you okay so if you're a cross watcher interested in um a cancer you might be wanting to make an offer for a new beginning or a cancer wants to offer you this for a new beginning could be um somebody saying no to your offer cancer as well a younger earth sign queen of swords yeah somebody like look you know not at this time no means no standing your ground here regaining self-respect saying no to people you know i'm not going to allow you to cross my boundaries no that's not how you know i want things to be here but as well it looks like she's offering something here as well so it could be for some of you an air sign maybe better match to you age wise um, making you an offer here so like there is two offers here and that's the seven of cups so multiple people could be interested in you, Cancer. This is either somebody being quite cold with the Queen of Swords energy um, and saying no, you know, so you have to wait for their communication. Or this can be somebody making you an offer here. Nine of Swords, oof. Um, so the nine of swords is worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. Okay. So could be a stressful time, maybe even to do with children. Maybe you have multiple children with the seven of cups. You could be even having nightmares here. Okay. Um, or scared to reach out to somebody in fear that they say, no, this can be your soul telling you it's not the right time and to wait, but there's nothing to worry about here. Okay. Trust the path. Let it unfold naturally here. Nine of Swords is worrying about things that before they've even happened. Okay, okay, what if I get into this new relationship and then they cut me off? That's that Nine of Swords. Worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. You've got to let things unfold naturally and trust the path that you're guided to take here. Five of Swords, okay, so yeah, if there's been delays when Mercury goes um, direct on the 20th of November, you'll see communication happen then. If here, look, it'll land here um, on the page of Swords. So if there was a blockage in communication, communication will pick up. It might be quite difficult during the retrograde, okay, to communicate with somebody. They may mistake your anxiety here, okay, so... It might be better to wait. Here it says wait. Yes, it does. Okay, wait and postpone. So you might be, if you try to communicate with somebody, 
during the retrograde it may be misunderstood by you or them okay with the five of swords very difficult to um talk to somebody and try and work things out during the retrograde because we're often misunderstood mercury is about communication so we're often misunderstood at this time okay so maybe wait to communicate here especially if you want to start something new with the magician and you want to reach out to somebody and say you know they might have another person in their life here with the queen of swords okay and the seven of cups they could have another option and you're wanting to contact them it would be difficult and maybe cause you more anxiety here so just wait and trust the process okay i feel like they'll end up reaching out to you here right now they could be very queen of swords cold in communication towards you i don't know why i was just going to say maybe they have a wife um so the queen of swords she can be a divorcee as well so they could be divorced from somebody else or you could be um so it might be you in this queen of swords energy and feeling like you know, I'm not ready to put myself out there fully or communicate fully, but it's not forever. It's just a delay here with the way and the five of swords. It's like a delay, okay, in communication. So if you're cross-watching for a cancer and wondering why aren't they coming forward or reaching out to me, um, they're delayed. And I feel like maybe this, if there was a divorce or something here, it's taken their toll. So they want to make sure they do it right this time. They're looking for a new beginning with the page of pentacles and the magician. Cancers could be um, looking to learn something new study-wise or like job-wise with the page of pentacles. Um, but they want to do it at their pace. So they might not be acting their normal self at the moment. They might be quite cold, whereas usually they're quite warm. It's because they're trying to manifest new things in their life. So, you know, don't worry about things unnecessarily with the Nine of Swords. Communication will happen. There's just something delaying it here. Temperance, yeah. So, this is somebody, you or them want a second chance. So right now, if you want in a second chance, it's not the right time to do it, okay? Um, there's lessons to be learned here with temperance. You know, so really and truly just have patience. That's um, temperance as well. It says there as well, patience and pause and postpone. So yeah, have patience here with temperance, okay, guys? Tame those inner worries this stress this nine of swords energy you're being asked to learn to tame that if you're worried about what if i never meet somebody new you're being asked at this time to learn that patience is a virtue and not to worry because it is coming there is delays but it's coming you know there's nothing wrong with um waiting and spending time on your own they're queen of wands so for some of you it could be um you have too many options to know which one to choose um but here again again it could be an indication of um a marriage and a mistress here three people here being involved um, maybe a sagittarius or it can be action will be taken during sagittarius season okay so it's like while we're in the retrograde once we're out of the um, retrograde and into Sagittarius season you'll then see some movement here with the Queen of Wands you're then able to take action it could be that you become more creative and I did do a video about Sagittarius season about time to sow time to plant the seeds okay then take action don't feel like that okay nothing seems to be going in the right direction nothing seems to be moving things are sluggish and slow that's just the retrograde. I've been trying to upload a video for like two hours and it's saying 271 hours. We see these sort of delays during the retrograde. It's crazy. So like I said, if you was drawn to any of these cards, I'm going to turn over the top card and um, get you guys a message. So here we have the Global Art Collaboration 78 Mythical Tarot deck. This is this one. 
Um, and the message here, oh, King of Pentacles. So it could be an earth sign for some of you that's coming in, coming towards you here. Um, a good company to work for as well. Somebody very kind-hearted. Um, somebody who's been through the struggle, but, you know, um, they're still working very hard and at life here. And they know in life there's always going to be more struggle. But... They know they can handle it. They trust here. This is what I'm feeling. That they trust that, you know, they've earned enough badges here to trust life. Trust the ever unfolding life. Trust their path. And know that they're strong enough, you're strong enough to continue in this. Here we have the answers from your angels. Ooh, no. A second no. Okay, so it's definitely not the right time for some of you here to be trying to force somebody or maybe ask for a second chance here because it just seems it's not the right time. And like I said, with Mercury Direct, um, it could be the fact that communication, you'll be misunderstood at this time. It could be for some that they are in another relationship. You have to wait for this person to get to the right point. That's the thing about divine timing. It's you know, we have to be in the right place. They have to be in the right place. So you've got to trust the path. Trust the process here. And this is the Akashic Tarot deck. Um, views of the ego. Okay, so we have this person looking at themselves in the mirror. Okay, so it could be the downfall of your ego or their ego here. It could be your ego that's bored at the moment and you know wanting things to hurry up and rush here discontented with life that's just ego okay you know we don't want to wish our life away we want everything at the right time here you're always in the right place on your path just trust it this is the goddess deck and it says compassion okay so like i said this could be you cancer in this queen of swords energy like you know, I'm not taking any crap from anybody, quite cold and things like that. And it could be just the fact that you have to wait to get back to feeling like yourself, fully healed. And view things from other people's point of view with compassion and love. Like you're here for, you know, to teach people about love cancers. And this is the Divine Feminine Oracle deck. And it says... I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibilities. Okay? So you, Cancer, are miraculous. Your prayers create powerful channels of possibilities. Okay? We are co-creators here. So this is the universe has my back. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. There you go, okay? So you are a very powerful creator, Cancers, because, you know, you're creating from the heart. It seems like you've learned a lot of lessons here with the Queen of Swords, okay? So you have ascended. You have learned some very valuable lessons in life, like this um, King of Pentacles here. But, you know, we're still to be kind and compassionate and understand your possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. So where you put your focus, if you focus on delay, that's where your energy will flow, okay? That's what reality you will create. So just put your focus elsewhere. You could be wanting to start a new business that's quite creative and you've hit a couple of delays along the way. That's okay. That's the path, right? That's the good stuff. We don't want to just rush through life to the end destination point. This is the Egyptian Oracle deck and it says fertility and satisfaction. Okay, so right now you are very fertile as the magician, very creative. It's all speaking of being very creative here but if you want a second chance or you're cross watching for a cancer and want a second chance look at the other person's point of view from compassion and kindness try not to let the ego step in that could be the queen of swords energy like 
you know, they did this to me, they can go and do whatever they want. That can be ego talking, okay, guys? So just be careful of that. So you're very fertile, so you will be drawing things to you right now, okay? Satisfaction comes in a job well done, doesn't it? Like, sometimes the hardest way can feel like the most rewarding way here. And next we have the romance deck. Okay, past life relationship, you have known each other before. So somebody from your past could be wanting a second chance with you with temperance here, okay? Or you could be meeting somebody completely new but feel an instant connection, okay? If you're wanting to meet somebody completely new, you don't want to meet them in this queen of swords energy full of ego, do you? You want to be back to your beautiful, compassionate, kind self here. There's your answer. No, you don't want to meet somebody new like that. You know, first impressions are very important. You may be meeting somebody who takes life as it comes at them, okay? Um, this king of pentacles, somebody who lets life unfold and trust the path there. And also very kind. So let's see the fairy tarot card here. The sun, wonderful. Some of you just may have wanted to see, look, I'm connecting with the Leo, because I did mention Leo in the very beginning, okay? The sun says, plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, gratitude for, a, gratitude for the blessings of life, okay? So being thankful for what you have brings in more, okay? Being thankful for these stormy paths that brought us to where we are right now in life. And this is the Shadow Light Oracle deck and it says, two little witches, magical space clearing time. So maybe, you know, do some saging around the house, do some clearing, some detoxing, clearing out cupboards and things like that, okay? You may have somebody to help. You may have two daughters or some kids here you may have because there seems to be multiple people in this reading okay it doesn't always have to be about a romantic partner and we have the messages from your angels and let's see crystal have faith and hope because there is something positive new on the horizon that you can't see that you can't yet see so yeah somebody's definitely coming in they seem to be delayed at the moment we don't know um, what's delaying them, especially if you don't know them or you haven't spoken to them. So don't get too up in this Queen of Swords energy if it's not your natural energy um, because your energy creates your reality. Okay, guys? There's something you can't see, but it's coming here. Wonderful. Good luck. <laughs> 